welcome. I'm your host, Hanan Ali, and you are watching Tarbia TV's 2016 election coverage. We have Newcastle County Executive Candidate, Mr. Matt Meyer, in the show, who is a Democrat candidate. Mr. Meyer, welcome to Tarbia TV. Shukran, Hanan. Marhaba. Thank you, Hanan. I appreciate it. Marhaba to you, too. Mr. Meyer, what is a county? Okay, so the counties are units of the state. So in Delaware, for example, there are three counties. In New York and other states, sometimes there are over 100 counties. But Delaware has only three counties, Newcastle, Kent, and Sussex. I'm running to be the county executive of Newcastle County, which has about half the population of the state of Delaware. What is the job of a county executive? So a county executive is like a mayor. So what we do is we're in charge of a police force. We're in charge of a paramedic force. We deal with land use. So if someone wants to build a big playground, we deal with should they be allowed to build a playground or not. If somebody wants to start an ice cream store, should we let them start the ice cream store or not? I think I, I, I might know what your answer might be, Hanan. But there are all sorts of issues like that uh, that we deal with for the county. Maybe most importantly, we do parks and libraries. One of the most important places that you go are parks and libraries, parks to play outside, county parks and county libraries to go to read a book and get together with friends. Why are you running to be a county executive? So I'm running for county executive. I grew up here in Wilmington. The reason I'm running is because I traveled around the world. I spent time in Kenya, in East Africa, and in Iraq. And then I came home, and I think there needs to be more of a spirit of service and volunteerism. I think we need to think when we look at our government leaders, how do we serve our government? How do we work together to identify the problems and solve them together? Maybe most importantly, the county, Newcastle County, is in charge of the ice cream festival. The ice cream festival, one of the largest ice cream festivals in the region. So it's really important that you speak to your mom and dad and make sure they take you to the ice cream festival for at least two scoops. What does Newcastle County do for children? So what kids can do, first of all, is go to your libraries, go to your parks, find out where your nearby county parks is. There's an amazing amount of information at, at, on the Newcastle County website. If you just Google Newcastle County, Delaware, there's all sorts of activities. Uh, sleeping under the stars, for example, is coming up where you have an opportunity to sleep in a county park one evening. As I mentioned, the ice cream festival, there's arts festivals and things like that that go on almost every weekend somewhere in the county. So you should talk to mom and dad, look at the schedule on Newcastle County's website and get involved. What can children do on election day? It's so important. One of the precious rights we have in this country is the right to vote. Now, you might be saying, I'm not 18, I'm not registered. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to do what I did with my mom and dad when I was growing up. And I said, Mom, can I go in the voting booth with you? And I actually went with them, and I saw them push the buttons. So I want you, on November 8th, not only to go with mom and not only to make sure mom and dad votes, but go with them to the voting booth and see if they'll let you to go in and push the buttons with them. Make the right decision for county executive. Thank you very much, Mr. Meyer. This is Tarbia TV's 2016 election coverage, and I'm your host, Hanan Ali. Assalamu alaikum. I'm your host, Hanan Ali, and you are watching Tarbia TV's 2016 election coverage. We have Newcastle County Executive Candidate, Mr. Mark Blake, in the show. Mr. Blake is a Republican candidate. Mr. Blake, welcome to Tarbia TV. Thank you, Hanan. Appreciate you uh, having me on today. What is a county? Well, Newcastle County is the second largest government in the state of Delaware. It, uh, it doesn't have all of the same functions as the state government. It has a legislative and an executive branch, but no judicial branch. And its uh, budget is about $300 million a year. It provides some of the basic services like public safety, which would be police, paramedic, and contributes to the 21 volunteer fire companies throughout Newcastle County. Also does land use, parks and libraries, and that ever exciting thing called sewers. What is the job of a county executive? 
County executive basically is uh, that of the governor uh, or the mayor of the county, uh, providing uh, the oversight to make sure that all of the policies and procedures are fairly uh, uh, provided to uh, businesses, residents, and the community at large. Uh, providing for the public safety is one of the largest functions. It, it consumes about 63 cents of every tax dollar that goes to the county. And that doesn't leave a lot for all the other things, but we have world-class parks and libraries that have become sort of the hallmark of Newcastle County. Why are you running to be a county executive? Well, one of the things I've seen, Hanan, is in my 14 years as a civic and community volunteer, I've been doing a lot of this work as a private citizen. And that's something I encourage everyone to do, is get involved where you are at the local level and work your way through so you better understand how government works. I believe that with what I bring as a, uh, a fiscal conservative, uh, that we can actually cut the waste that's in most governments. Uh, there's somewhere between five and 10% right now, which would translate into 15 to $30 million that we could save that could be reallocated to help us increase our parks, could help us uh, pay our first responders more because they're actually paid less than the state police and the University of Delaware police on average about $10,000 a year. So we have some disparity there. So one of the things as the county executive, I view it as the CEO of the company called Newcastle County. And my job is to make sure it's run fairly, honestly, ethically, and very efficiently. Well, it's, it's one of those things when you ask people, they don't even really understand what the county does for them uh, because we don't do roads and uh, we don't have a lot of the other things that the state does as, as far as benefits that are provided. But a lot of what we do are quality of life issues. If you think about it, if somebody wants to uh, relocate here their business, they have to navigate through the county processes, which can be quite cumbersome. And so one of the things I want to do is make that process more open and transparent where everyone has a seat at the table, has a voice that can be heard equally and that we can actually work to provide a consensus to get the best possible project for everyone at hand without impacting adversely the environment or the traffic that we have here in the county. Oh, it's absolutely very important. I couldn't wait when I was first 18 years old and became a registered voter. And I voted in every election there ever was, be it a school board election, a local council person's election. Even when I traveled, and I've traveled all over the world, I've cast an absentee ballot if I knew I wasn't going to be there. You absolutely, no matter what, what political party or person you favor, you should go out and vote. That is one of the fundamental rights that is one of the greatest things we can have as American citizens, is to be able to vote. And my grandfather used to say, when someone would start talking politics, he would stop them and say, excuse me, did you vote in the last election? And if they didn't, he says, then I don't want to hear you give your opinion on something unless you were part of the process. So it's very important. I encourage everyone, vote, take your neighbors out. If they can't get there, if they're not able to get there, absolutely show up and vote. It is your voice, and that one voice can translate into millions of voices. Thank you very much, Mr. Blake. This is Tarbia TV's 2016 election coverage, and I'm your host, Hanan Ali. Assalamu alaikum.